Hello guys, it is the moment of truth. First time starting our 1086 since last uh, November, early December maybe. So yeah, it's been sitting here three, four months. Uh, which, you know, for the bigger tractors is more common. We don't have as much use for them in the winter. Typically we use this guy for a lot of tillage work, round bailing, hauling gravity wagons. Got the transmission back together. Um, I'll put out a light here in a minute, but I cut a nice new floor mat. Yep, it's dark down there. And we have the new seat that I'm sitting on. So when I get it outside, I'll give you guys a quick tour, but here goes the startup. Oh, and watch this. Torque amplifier works. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll shove the clutch in, but there's no oil pressure against it. So I drained it all out. Here we go. We got power. Almost a quarter tank of fuel. That's good. So perfect. Now our oil pressure light. It's tried to go out. Now the last time we did this fix, we had issues with the oil pressure light not wanting to go out. We knew there was oil pressure because the clutch was going in easy. It's a hydraulic clutch based off the pump and the transmission, so you need pressure for the clutch to press in gently. Okay. Got a lot of jockeying to get it out. Transmission stops, so that's good. Now let's see if we can get it out. I'm so used to driving the 14, the clutch feels so low in this thing. It's crazy. Really worried about since we drained most of the fuel out of it that the little bit of air that got in the line would cause problems but you know we're idling here no problem oh yeah plenty of room my question is this other side that's the one thing I do like about the 66 series. You sit farther back so it's easier to see where your tires are. miss this guy and I'll probably demonstrate the torque amplifier because I really want to play with that oh hey there's a pheasant in the barnyard crazy thing I let that quail go that I caught I had no place to keep it I'm going to low Yay, first gear works. Goes into high. Yeah, that could take a while. Fuel gauge, 
Uh, I need to play with the wires on that. Acts like the flashers are on. The first time we took the fuel tank off, we ended up cutting one of the wires because we couldn't get it to unscrew. So it's just got a wire nut holding it together. That's super kosher. I'm gonna have to go down there and fiddle with it. Because now we got nothing for fuel down there. Rats. Engine oil pressure is good. I know we are a few gallons low in the transmission. They put 15-ish back in. There's probably at least room for 20. Might as well have plenty of oil. Okay, momentous occasion. Did not double clutch that very well. Didn't have it out of gear. See, the tires are a little flat-sided from sitting. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, uh, and hopefully we don't have too many more big fixes. I know we do have this project coming up, so stay tuned for that, and eventually lots of spring tillage. Until next time, happy farming. <laughs>